So what I wanted to do real quick is we did cover this product uh, a few weeks ago. It's the AirTurn Quad. Um, this is using AirTurn's original pedal design, which is completely silent, um, completely, um, how would I put it? It's a solid state pedal design. So like the switch doesn't use any real moving parts, which means it'll last forever, which is great. If you've used an AirTurn pedal uh, since the beginning, you know that it actually just emulates kind of like a computer keyboard being attached to your iPad or iPhone. And that causes issues with the keyboard not coming up sometimes because it thinks one's already attached and so forth. But one of the great things about the new Quad 200 is they've integrated the brain inside of it. So it's this nice like single unit. We don't have wires hanging out and everything. Um, but all of AirTurn's products now use their BT200 module, okay? And the BT200 module has Bluetooth LE built into it. Bluetooth LE is Bluetooth low energy. Um, it uses Bluetooth 4.0 and it allows the device to be connected and transmit data in a way that is not acting like a keyboard. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to attach an AirTurn pedal using this, what we call app direct mode. If you use an AirTurn pedal, sometimes they call it air direct mode. So one of the things that you need to know about an AirTurn pedal is that you can change its mode, okay? And modes are interesting because normally an AirTurn pedal, all the BT200 pedals ship in mode two which is this compatibility mode, which treats it like a keyboard, okay? Uh, so normally you would go into, blue, into your settings app, you know, let me just show you that on the screen here just to reinforce, but you would go into that settings app, you know, you would click on Bluetooth, you'd like wait for the Bluetooth device to show up and then you'd pair to it, okay? We're not gonna do that method at all. Um, so what I want you to do if you have an air turn pedal, um, the first thing you need to do is reset it. And what you do is you hold down the power button uh, for about eight seconds. And so you're just gonna kind of hold the button until it turns off. And then it's gonna turn back on, blink three times and kind of like do that little like stutter. And that means that we've just factory reset the pedal. And if I turn it back on, then um, it should be kind of back to new. Then what we're gonna do is put it into mode one. So all the new uh, BT200 brains modules have this little mode button. It looks like a list icon. And I'm just gonna press that until the red button or red LED in the middle blinks once and let go. And you can see it kind of like blinked once. So to set the mode, you hold down that mode button until the light blinks a certain number of times that match the mode you want. Mode one is this app direct mode. Okay, so now the air turn is set for app direct mode, which means that we can connect directly to it through the OnSong app. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So in OnSong, we're gonna tap on the foot pedal looking icon in the menu bar, which is right here to the right of the headphones, okay? That's gonna open up what we call our actions screen. It's actions because we can do different actions using different inputs, whether it's MIDI or pedals or the screen. Um, then I'm gonna tap in the, in the top na uh, title Right now there's like air turn ped and there's a down arrow. If I tap there, it's gonna show me all the pedals that OnSong uh, natively supports. I'm gonna tap the air turn quad 200, there we go. Once we're into air turn quad 200, what we're gonna do is tap on the three dots in the upper right corner and we're gonna set our mode. So by default, this is set to arrow key mode. Uh, so it just kind of works out of the box. If we wanna to connect to the pedal, directly through OnSong, we can tap this app direct mode option. And then it's gonna scan for any Bluetooth peripherals that match that are air turn. And you can see the quad 200 shows up there and we can tap and it kind of spins. And in a few seconds, we should connect directly to that pedal. There we go. And so now we're connected to that pedal. All we have to do then is push uh, the button here on our air turn and you can see our actions menu shows up here. Um, that we can then set the actions that we need to set. Um, so we can do whatever we want, but the default is set up. Um, by default, you know, the air turn quad will scroll up, <laughs> scroll down and, and go between your songs. I'm not gonna get into the actions that you could set. You know, there's 167 actions. We probably have some more coming here, but you can then configure your pedal to do whatever you want. And that's one of the questions that we always get too is, you know, what's the difference between a two button, you know, pedal 
and a four six, mm -hmm. you know? And I think the big difference is it just there's more buttons that you can configure in OnSong. So you can make it do whatever you want, you know? And the great thing is when you use this app direct um, mode is that then you can uh, use the keyboard of your device without any issues because it's, com it's di uh, directly communicating with OnSong um, and being able to be used with that.